Today we're going to look at the portable solar generator by All Powers. Hello and welcome back to the channel guys. This is an extension to my Kent Survival channel where I use the gear that I review here. Now on the main channel you may remember I looked at an All Powers uh, portable solar generator um, a few months ago now. They've sent me another one to have a look at, a few extras on it, a bit more power. So let's have a look in the box. So here it is, the All Powers solar generator. Comes with a micro USB as well and of course the mains power brick. You also get your specs and instructions. I said yes to reviewing this because it's got a few extras the other one doesn't have, more power, and it's a smaller package too. Now if we have a look at it first, on the front here you can see a little fuse cap there. And you've got two mains plugs, 220 volts. They will power anything that draws up to 300 watts, but it has a 500 watt initial drawer as well, so if they're things that you switch on and they take this big initial drawer, it will still be able to power them without cutting out. On both sides here, you can see you've got these internally powered lights. They have multi-functions. Right, I think I blinded myself there. <laughs> you've got your main power button there. Your screen here shows you your input and output of your wattages and how much you've got on your battery. Handily gives you that percentage as well, they don't all do that, so you've got your percentage as well as your increments. This is also your Bluetooth pairing button, so have a look at that in a minute. You turn on your DC power with that one, your AC power with that one. There's a bit of a pause there. You can't see the light come on when you've got your finger on it. When you put the AC power on you may have heard then it will just spin the fans up briefly. Um, that's for the inverter and that's all ready for you to roll. You've got three fast charge USB plugs, normal ones, and on the end you've got a USB-C, so great for the future. Over here you've got DC output. On the other side we've got DC input output, which is your uh, car lighter socket, and you've got your inputs here as well for solar panels and for the brick charger as well, and your fan grill. One new thing with this as well, on the top you can see you've got wireless charging. So if you've got a wireless phone or some headphones, you can just stick them on the top there to charge. By the way, neither of these are, so I can't really test it. <laughs> now I have tried the uh, solar power, uh, the input very much similar to what I've experienced in the past. Not too bad when you're in the uh, full sun. Uh, had quite good results even though it was quite spotty when I used it and like I said that's where your mains will go as well which um, I use just to top this up because I think they ship these with about 70% power something like that. Now one good thing is when you've got something plugged into your AC the display will show you how much longer you've got drawing that amount of power. Very helpful to know if you're at camp or something else, how much you can use something, like if you wanted to save some power for the next day or something. Now this thing has 372 watt hours of power, which is pretty good, more than the last one, which was more than twice this size. I'll stick the weight spec for this one on. It's a nice little package actually. Now coming back to the 12 volt car charger there, you can charge this from the car with the right adapter. Uh, the output from it is not continuous though, um, if that's something that will affect you, but it'll work for most things. Make sure it is 12 volts and not a 24 volt one that you can get in some cars and lorries. Now I like to uh, try these out in novel ways. Um, this is not as powerful as that big one that I um, reviewed before, the uh, beer moth as I called it. 
uh, for that one um, you can do cooking with it with hot plates now you need like that thousand watt output to be able to do that which this doesn't have this is better for you know charging your laptop your drone uh, your phones powering some lights or something all of them kind of things at camp or in a caravan uh, van camping um, emergency power at home uh, you could do a TV with it all that sort of thing so it's good for most things but not for cooking and heating and like I said it does have an app you use this Bluetooth to pair it and then there's your app tells you the percentages of power you can turn on and off the lights the ports and things so a handy little thing to have don't think you can even see that screen properly there <laughs> but I think that's um, on the uh, Apple and Android app stores now charging with this uh, from the mains is going to take you seven or eight hours 50 watt solar panel will manage it in about eight hours as well if you've got good sun um, 100 watt solar panel six hours you know it's going to depend on your sun and there's all kinds of different variables there with the solar panels but um, you can charge it up full from your mains take it out with your solar panel and keep it topped up at camp that's uh, how most people would do it I would guess they give you a few examples of application times such as 5 watt phones and tablets 60 to 65 recharges a 60 watt laptop 5 to 6 recharges 10 watt camera 30 recharges 30 watt speakers 9 to 11 hours a 50 watt fan for 6 to 7 hours 30 watt bulb 10 to 11 hours uh, or 120 watt kettle for 2.5 to 3 hours that's some boil <laughs> Yes, yeah, so I think this is going to make a good replacement to the last All Powers one I had. It's a good all-rounder. Um, some nice features in there. The wireless charging and that I'm sure is going to come in handy in the future. I've already got a few USB-C devices and fast charge on my phone. Um, the lights, you know, it's always handy to have lights at hand at camp and stuff. Um, if you're car camping. In all honesty, the Bluetooth pairing, I uh, probably wouldn't use that too much to be honest. But um, having all the other things great I'll put all the dimensions and weight for this on the screen at the moment I will try and give the uh, weights of the other one that I had as well that I've been using at camp um, yeah nice little thing it's definitely gonna be a replacement for me because the size is a lot nicer I'll stick all the info below for this uh, it was sent to me by all powers uh, all the opinions are that of my own um, great little thing you know if you need something like this a lot of people won't they'll just charge their phone at camp on a, a small power bank but if you're doing filming with drones uh, cameras you've got your phone you're on a multi-dayer you're filming multiple videos one of these can be really handy when you're doing all that kind of stuff right details below thank you guys for watching i hope you found that helpful or interesting uh, stick around for more reviews coming soon goodbye